Okay, so we just did addition of HBr to an alkene. Um, and in fact, what we did was we made this as one of our products, do you recall? So now we're going to show the opposite reaction, which is the elimination of HBr from this alkyl halide to make that alkene that we started with. So if you remember, when we did this reaction, we act, to get this product, we actually had a racemic mixture. And what we'll find is that the starting material from the last reaction isn't going to be the only product of this reaction either. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So when we look at this, um, these uh, reagents and solvents that are over and under the reaction arrow, hopefully you can see that they're very similar, right? This is OET. Na and this is ETOH, right? So the H has been replaced with an Na in this particular molecule relative to the solvent here. Does that make sense? Okay. So that's really important for a reward that you don't want to do on human. That's really important for a number of reasons, but for right now we're just going to focus on the fact that it's a very strong base. Okay. So, remember what we like to do. We like to erase this stuff and draw out the Lewis structures of the reacting molecules, okay? So, let's erase that. Remember, Na plus is the spectator ion. So, we've got the negative OET being our strong base. So remember, what are we trying to do here? We're trying to eliminate, this is elimination of HBr from alkyl halide. So remember, when we do that, we're going to make an alkene, okay? And we're going to want to deprotonate one of the alpha protons, or the, uh, one of the protons that's on a carbon, one carbon away from that function, because okay, those are acidic protons. So what we'll find is, if we look, we've got one, two alpha carbons. Okay, So in fact, what we can do is deprotonate either that proton or one of these three protons, okay? And in fact, the product mixture is going to show that we've deprotonated one of those in one of the products and one of the other ones in the other product, okay? But one of them's gonna be favored. In fact, the one that's favored is the, like the major product or the state set product, remember we called it that, is going to be the starting material of the reaction we used, or we started with on the video before. Okay, so this is kind of like going backwards and forwards from the same reactant to the same product, from that product back to the starting material. Okay, so what we'll do is show the mechanism of uh, the minor product first. Okay, so remember in these E2 reactions, this is an uh, E2, yeah, it's recording. So the minor product going to come from deprotonation of the less substituted carbon. So we'll deprotonate any one of those protons would have been fine to deprotonate. They're all um, equivalent. Okay, so when we do that, those electrons are going to flow down to in between those two carbons. And of course, this carbon cannot have more than uh, four bonds. So it's going to kick out that Br minus ion. Okay. So what we're going to do is get this alkene here. Actually, was that the starting material? I can't remember what was the starting material of the last reaction. That was the starting material. So yeah, the minor product. Sorry about that. The minor product of that last reaction is, um, or the minor product of this reaction is the starting material of that reaction. 
So this is the minor product here. Why is it the minor product? Well, let's see what the major product is first. Okay. So what I'm going to do is erase these mechanistic arrows, and I'm just going to show this reaction again. But this time, it's not going to deprotonate from the less substituted carbon. It's going to deprotonate from the more substituted carbon. Okay. are going to take that proton away. That's going to make those electrons go in between those two carbons there. And that's going to kick out that Br minus there. Okay. So when we do that, we're not going to get this product. Here, let's keep that up there, actually. This, we said, was the minor product. We're going to get this product down here. Where do you think the double bond is going to be? Okay. So if you um, oftentimes uh, introductory organic students would want to also draw this as one of the products. Okay, but well, hopefully you guys can see this and this are the same substance. Okay, so don't draw both because you get some points. So let's erase this. And we'll determine why this is the major product. And that's the minor product. Can you tell me? Can anybody tell me? That's a rule. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is... So except, right? He says that the more substituted alkene is the more stable one, and therefore it's going to be produced um, as the major product. So substitution talks about how many substituents that aren't hydrogen that are around that um, alkene, right? So here we've got one, two, three carbons. Here we've got one carbon. So this one's more substituted, so that's the major product. Okay? Pretty good for, well, earlier than eight is when we started, so I'm real proud of you guys. I'm even tired. Any questions?